The food that I'm going to talk about is my family's cherry pie. My mom's grandparents built a cabin on Big Glen Lake in Glen Arbor, Michigan in the 1930s. My mom has gone to Michigan with her three siblings and her parents every summer of her life for the months of June, July, and August. When I and all of my cousins were born, we started going to Michigan together with our parents, and I've gone up to Michigan with my six cousins and aunts and uncles for every summer of my life this far. Traverse City, Michigan, which is very close to where our cabin is, is the cherry capital of the world. The cherries grown in Michigan are unlike any cherries I have ever eaten before. I have memories of stopping at roadside produce stands on the way into town and buying a thing of cherries and finishing by them by the time we got to town, spitting the pits out of the window of the car all the way there. When I'm in Michigan with my cousins and grandparents and aunts and uncles, we have cherry pie every night for dessert. Usually my aunt is the one to make the pie and she can whip one up in what seems like 30 minutes. I have memories of waking up in the morning, grabbing a spoon, and taking a bite of pie straight from the pie pan right before anyone else wakes up. Even when we're not in Michigan, we still have cherry pie at all of our family gatherings. My family eats it at all of our birthday celebrations and occasionally at smaller holidays like Easter. I've had cherry pie and just plain cherries since I can remember. Cherry pie represents generations and generations of my family going all the way back to my great grandparents. The cherry pie is something that brings us together and represents so many memories and laughter with family in Michigan. Michigan has been in our family since the 1930s, and since then, whenever anyone in our family thinks of cherries, we think of Michigan, and then we think of family and shared memories. The funny thing about this recipe is that there is no one correct recipe. It is just kind of passed down by people watching other people make it, and everyone figures out their own recipe once they make it five or ten times. My mom and my aunt even have a little competition that has gone on for years about who makes the better cherry pie. So now every time one of them makes one, the other one feels like they have to make one too so that the people who eat the pie can vote on which one is better. Every person in my family makes the family cherry pie a little bit differently, but all the different recipes are based on the common love of family and of cherries. I'm excited to be getting to the age when I can start to adopt my own version of the family cherry pie recipe. I've obviously see how my, seen how my mom and my aunt make it, but I'm excited to see what changes I can make to it to make it suit my taste preferences. Thanks.